Guys, I'm so done with Ivory touching, but I could not finish the segment without this one because this is really, really important. So today we're going to be talking about how to add contrast to your eyes. Guys, this one's going to be a really, really quick one, but also very, very effective, massively effective. So don't miss it. Without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and it's going to be really, really simple. All you need to do, you need to create an adjustment layer. Go ahead, click on this gray white circle icon and create an adjustment layer. Any adjustment layer will do. I'm going to create a levels adjustment layer. And then once you do create an adjustment layer, close it. The properties does not matter. Change the blend mode from normal to overlay. Now this introduces a lot of contrast. If you want a less of contrast, you can change from overlay to soft light. Also, if you want more lesser contrast or somewhere in between soft light or overlay, change it back to overlay. And as you know, opacity will always be our friend. So set it on overlay for now. And since every adjustment layer comes with a mask, we need to make it a negative mask and paint in the eyes. So it's already white. That means it's affecting the whole of the image. Okay, so we need to press control I. Now it has turned black. Now control I, what it does is that it inverts the image. It makes the white black and it makes the black white. That's all it does. So since the mask is black, it's not affecting anything. Now if we take a brush and make sure the foreground color is white, press X to toggle between foreground and background. And if we paint in the eyes, the effect will only be applied in the eyes. So take a soft brush. You can decrease the flow to around 40-ish, okay, to have a more smoother result and paint in the eyes. That's all you need to do. Now this is way too much. You can change it back to soft light and soft light seems nice. Let's look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Makes a ton of difference. So you can always change back to black brush. So press X to make the foreground color black again and paint out the eyelids and the parts of the skin that are not the part of the eye. All right. So let's look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after makes a load of difference. Also, you can use this to make certain parts more contrasty, like the lips. Maybe there you go. Zoom out a little bit and it looks much more attractive before after you can always use the opacity to increase or decrease the effect. So there you have it. It's all ready. If this was helpful, this is a short and helpful tip. If this was helpful, of course it was. Make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Click on that bell button so that you don't miss any future tips and tricks. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.